Time now to learn more about our other six semifinalists, beginning with Miss Norway. <laughs> Miss Norway is Mona Olsen. She is 20 years old. She lives in Oslo. She's a model. You're a model now. What are your plans for the future? Well, my plans are to modeling for a few years, and after that, try to open my own flower shops. Uh, you speak a little louder now, won't you? You're going to open a flower shop. Do you have a garden now, or do you, do you like flowers all your life? How did you choose that? Well, I worked in a flower shop for three years ago, and I like that very much. What are your impressions of the American people? I think they're very friendly. They are very friendly, aren't they? What have you done since you've been here in New York? Well, lots of rehearsal and... Uh, we have been, we are visiting very much nice restaurants and a few discos. Have you played any three-card Monty? Pardon? <laughs> you know what three-card Monty no, is? No, I'm sorry, I don't know. You have money with you from Norway, don't you? Yes. I'll teach you the game after the show. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Norway. And let's meet Miss Venezuela. Miss Venezuela is going to have an interpreter. She is Irene Saez. She's 19. She lives in Caracas. Right over here, will you please, sir? And uh, she is a university student. Ask her what she's studying, will you please? ¿Qué clase de estudios hace usted? Estoy estudiando ingeniería civil en la Universidad Metropolitana de Caracas. I'm studying civil engineering at the University Metropolitan University of Caracas. How did she become interested in becoming an engineer? ¿Cómo que se interesó usted en la ingeniería civil? Pienso que mi personalidad va de acuerdo a esta, a esta carrera. Y siempre me ha gustado ver crecer los edificios como crecen los niños. Porque creo que mi personalidad se lenda a esta carrera y me gusta ver los edificios crecer como niños. Creo que su personalidad se lenda a cualquier carrera. En su bio, ella dice que ella participa en deportes. ¿Qué hace usted? Dice que usted participa en los deportes. ¿Qué clase de deporte hace usted? Me gusta jugar tenis y jugar kicking ball. Kicking ball? Kicking ball. Kicking ball. Soccer? Kicking football? Football y béisbol. Eh, football y béisbol. Does she follow American sports? ¿Y sigue usted los deportes norteamericanos? Sí, cómo no. Yes. Admiro muchísimo a los rojos de Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Uh, uh, Cincinnati, Cincinnati yeah. Reds. Cincinnati Reds? Yeah. And... <laughs> K... K... <laughs> What other team? ¿Qué, qué otro equipo? Los Dolphins de Miami. The Miami Dolphins? Ask her if she's ever... <laughs> Ask her... Ask her if she's ever heard of George Steinbrenner. ¿Usted conoce el nombre de George Steinbrenner? El pitcher de... El pitcher? <laughs> Uh, he sells beer on television. He does beer commercials, doesn't he? Thank you very much. President of the Reggie Jackson Fan Club. Let's see a score for her, and we will talk with Miss Belgium. Miss Belgium is Dominique Van Eekhout, age 20. Brussels is her home, and you also are a model now, but what do you hope to do in the future? I would like to be a public relation, and uh, first... I would like to be more famous in modeling in Brussels and maybe work uh, in France, Paris, and maybe in America if I have luck. Very good. Have you been in uh, the United States before? Yes, I have uh, been here twice in Florida and Connecticut, and I traveled, uh, traveled by bus, by Greyhound between, uh, during 33 hours. To 33 hours by bus from where to where? From Bridgeport to Orlando, Walt Disney World. What was the most beautiful state you saw? Oh, I remember Georgie. What? Georgie? Yes, Georgie. <laughs> I tell why was because it was so strange, and. <laughs> now, you don't mean the people of Georgie were strange. You. You mean the, the scenery? The scenery, yes, the scenery. Yes, right. yes, because you were about to lose the votes in Atlanta, Georgie, there for a moment. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Belgium. A score for her, and a talk with Miss Germany, who is going to have an interpreter.
Miss Germany is Marion Kurz, right up here. Marion, please. That's fine. She's 20. She lives in Rodin. Is that how you pronounce it? Rodin. She's a secretary for an industrial firm. And ask her, will you please, what she has enjoyed most here in New York? Um, woran haben Sie sich am meisten vergnügt hier in New York? Was hat Ihnen am meisten Spaß gemacht? Das Essen im World Trade Center. Uh, ask her to speak up louder, will you please? Uh, kannst du ein bisschen lauter sprechen? Das Essen im World Trade Center. It's the food in the World Trade Center. The food? Yeah. What food did she particularly enjoy? Was, was haben Sie da am liebsten gemacht? Uh, den Fisch, was da gegeben hat. Und überhaupt, dass man das Essen da, dass man die Aussicht gehabt hat und alles. Uh, she likes the fish better. Better than everything. They have no fish in Germany. <laughs> oh, you do understand some English, don't you? Now you turned yes, around and answered yourself. Not so well. What, what, do you, what do you want to do in the future? Ask her. Yeah. Was willst du in der Zukunft machen? Um, ja, das weiß ich nicht genau, wie dieses Pageant heute ausgeht, aber wenn nicht, wenn ich nicht gewinnen soll, dann werde ich weiter als Sekretärin arbeiten. Uh, it depends on this night, and uh, if, she, if she doesn't win, then she's going back to her job as a secretary. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's good planning. Very good planning. Thank you, Miss German. She has thought this thing through. And now, Miss Tahiti, please. She is Tatiana Perayamano. She is 18. She's a bank teller. And do you wish to have an interpreter? Yes. I uh, someone who speaks French? Do we have a French interpreter here? Yes. Will you come out here, sir? Uh, he was back checking his makeup. Uh, we all, many of us in the United States, fantasize about running away to Tahiti. Ask her to tell us about Tahiti. Parlons-nous un peu de Tahiti, parce que tout le monde euh, a l'impression de vouloir aller à Tahiti. Now, louder, someone up there says, and I agree now. D'abord, lorsqu'on arrive à Tahiti, il y a la chaleur tropicale, et il y a beaucoup de végétation, et aussi beaucoup de fleurs. Et puis, il y a une chose surtout, c'est que c'est la beauté naturelle. The natural beauty, the first thing that you notice is the uh, tropical warmth and the vegetation, the flowers, and, and above all, the natural beauty. And she is a bank teller. Uh, ask her if she has visited our country before. Ask yes. her if she's... You have? Yes. Where? Japan. Where? Uh, Japan, France. Uh, oh, Japan and France. Yes. But has she visited the United States? Visited les Etats -Unis, uh, Where in the United States has she um, been? Oregon, Palm Springs. California, San Francisco, and Las Vegas. What did she like most? What was the most fun for in this country? <laughs> Slack machine. Slot machine? <laughs> That's a very bad habit for bank tellers to get into, Miss Tahiti. Thank you. Slot machine. And now we're ready to talk with Miss Canada, who is Dominique Dufour. She's 22, she is from Laval, Quebec, and she learned to speak English just two and a half years ago. Why don't you tell us why you did not speak English sooner and how it all came to pass? Well, uh, most of the people in Laval are French. Like, Quebec province is, most of it is French, except in Montreal is bilingual. And I started modeling two and a half years ago, and almost all the people are English in the modeling business, so I had no choice. If I, I have to understand, put this dress on, then I have to learn English. Of course. Now, I read the bios over for all of these girls, and they answer certain questions, and one of your answers impressed me tremendously. When they asked her her favorite television star, you said... The price is right. The price is right. Do you really watch? Come on down. You got it. Yes. Uh, do you really watch Price is Right? Does your family watch it? I have no choice. My father is sitting up there, and he watched the Price is Right every night. Your father is here in the balcony? Yes. You, sir, have won a refrigerator. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Canada. What you have just seen is the first of the three judging categories that will eventually narrow our 12 semi-finalists down to our five finalists.